Extra. Welcome to Saturday Sports Extra, where it was another busy day on the basketball court. And we are going to tip things off with the Saluki men, a homecoming for Kendall Brown Searles and Coach Lowry on the road in Evansville tonight. The dogs looking to snap a four game MVC losing streak. Meanwhile, the Purple Aces have their own seven game skid. Saluki's rolling early, though. Justin Bocott knocking down the tray for an early 11 to 3 lead. Then Big Gene Teague working the lane right here. The baby hook with the left hand. SIU up 19 to 12. And later in the half, Kavon Lacey pulling up for the J for Evansville. Going to cut it to a four point game, 24 to 20. One minute to go then in the first half. SIU in transition off the steal. Jack Crowder, the hoop and the harm. Salukis were up 10 at the half. And now to the second half, Teague. Another good game from the freshman. The jam for the 12 point lead. But Evansville freshman sensation Colt Ryan heating up later in the game. The three ball going to cut it to five. And fortunately for SAU, Carlton Fay answering right back. Back to back threes for him. SAU up 11. And they're going to hang on for the 65 to 57 win. That's one thing, you know, I was able to hit a couple shots and, you know, we got, you know, a little life and a little energy back into us that, you know, that we lost when they made the little run. So, uh, you know, after them shots, you know, we were able to make, make down them shots and then get some more stops. And we had to come out with energy, with effort. These guys are good. So they, that record didn't mean nothing to us. So we just going to play them like any other team. So to recap, Saluki snapped their four-game skid. Carlton Fay finishes with 15 points. Gene Teague with 12. And the Purple Aces were paced tonight by Colt Ryan's. 22 points. Well, elsewhere around the MVC, Northern Iowa going to stay atop the conference. All right, we're going to actually show you the Illinois. Oh, there we go. Around the MVC, as I mentioned, Northern Iowa going to stay atop the conference, 62 to 40. They get past Indiana State, while Creighton scores their second win in a row, edging Wichita State by one. And earlier today, Bradley, a big winner over Missouri State. Big Ten basketball now. Illinois in eighth-ranked Michigan State, both 4-0 in the conference. Illinois up early. Tyler Griffey draining the tray for the six-point lead. But late in the first half, Kalen Lucas pulling up for the deep two. 40-29 Spartans. The Illini down 13 in the second half. Dimitri McCamey trying to lead the charge back. Tries the lane for the hoop, cutting it to 10. But a Michigan State... Got a big game from Lucas in transition to lay up in the foul. Michigan State cruises to the 10-point win. Also in action, former Saluki coach Matt Painter and Purdue looking to bounce back from their first two losses of the season. Second half, Northwestern up one. Drew Crawford cutting it up to Michael Thompson for the backdoor lay-in. 42-38 Wildcats. Purdue hanging around. Each one more with the strong take for the hoop, tying it at 44, but Crawford was huge for Northwestern. 20 points today for him. The go-ahead three from the corner. Purdue now has lost three straight. They lose today 72-64. And second-ranked Kentucky, one of the only two unbeaten teams heading into the day on the road at Auburn. First half, Kentucky off the miss. It's a great John Wall of Kentucky finishing with the flush 30, 39-20 Wildcats. But in the second half, the Tigers would come back. Frankie Sullivan for the game tying three-pointer, nodding it at 60. But the Cats, led by Walls, 15 points. We'll get enough late as they're still perfect, 72-67. Well, it's been baby steps for the SIU women this season. The Salukis first win in December, and on Thursday, the women took a giant leap forward with an upset win over Drake. Today, another big battle in their hands against MVC leader Creighton. And we're going to take you to the arena now. Early on, Stephanie Neptune going baseline for the bucket. Going to tie the game up at two. Then Saluki's next possession. Neptune driving and dumping off to LaToya Hambrick. She ties it at four. But Cranon having success inside today. Kelly Nelson working the block. Gives the Blue Jays a 21-15 lead. And then later in this thing, the kick out to Chevelle Herring for the triple. Cranon starting to pull away 24-15. The Saluki women going to fall today at home, 84 to 62. And some Juco action from this afternoon. The John A. Logan men score an overtime win. And the women also take Wabash Valley to the extra period, escaping with a one point victory. High school hoops now. Heron hosting Waltonville tonight in non-conference play. Perhaps a few future cheerleaders in attendance for Heron. Heron up 15-9 early. Waltonville's Dylan Johnson drains the three. And a little later, 
Something you don't see very often, the back door pass from Skyler Witches to Johnson to make it 17 all. Heron's Jacob Caldwell driving, banking it off glass. Bobby Manny then knocks down the trifecta, 26-23. Heron, third quarter now, Waltonville goes on a run. Joseph Lewis with the three ball from the corner, making it 37-29 Spartans. And Waltonville comes into Heron and beats the Tigers at night 62-57. Meanwhile, a pink out in Campbell Hill when DuCoin and Trico tussled. Trico, Chase Hines, he's their big man inside with the nice hoop to make it 3-0 Trico. Then more pioneers, Logan Thies drives to the hoop to make it 11-6. Then it's Jesse Smith getting in on act. A nice fake inside, then the layup, 17-8 Trico. Dylan Withoff with the penetration, then the dish to Logan Thies for the finish, 19-9 Trico. DQs to coins Logan Schneider. We then try to get the game close with that three-pointer, and then the foul for the four-point lead to make it 19-13, and Thies Driving to make the hoop 28-24. Trico, they go on to win 64-57. to well, Let's take you to some high school hoop scores. We're starting out with boys. Carrier Mills going to trounce Thompsonville 62-24. to To the Meridian and the, M the MLK Classic wrapping up there. Egyptian beats Lovejoy. Century falls to Carothersville, Missouri. Meridian a big winner over Cleveland Academy out of St. Louis. And Woodlawn, a 15-point winner over Lebanon. High school girl scores AJ over Carterville, 53-40. Heron, a big winner, 64-35 over Pinckneyville. And West Frankfurt tops Cesar Valier waltonville today. Cahokia, meanwhile, rolls over Carbondale, 74-46. And Cowden, Herrick, Beecher City, that's a mouthful, 13 better than Woodlawn at the Sandoval Invitational. With the Harrisburg School District facing nearly half a million dollars in budget cuts, their athletics department is trying to take matters into their own hands today. At Harrisburg Middle School, a 5K walk and run was held to fundraise money. About 100 runners and walkers turned out to compete in the event. All of the proceeds go to the boys and girls cross country and track teams for equipment and other expenses. Harrisburg High School track coach Chuck Ingram says they can use every penny. This is to help those out to buy New equipment, uh, equipment some can't afford, and just it goes back to the track and cross country program. Ingram says he expects to raise around $800 through the event. He says the money will most likely be used to buy a new tent for the team. And if you love softball, DuCoin is the place to be this weekend. About a dozen teams from around the area, as well as as far away as Chicago, are competing in an indoor fast pitch softball tournament. It's the first time they've done the tournament, 48 games are being played in just two days onto the DuCoin State Fairgrounds with all the proceeds from the event going to the Special Olympics of Illinois and a few of the Olympians on hand this morning to throw out the first pitch. What do you like more, pitching or hitting? Pitch. Why? We so much. <laughs> There's a lot of other parents out there trying to do better things for, for their Special Olympics. I'm happy knowing that I, I'm doing my part along with all the other volunteers I had to make this possibility and come true. Asbury says he expects about $25,000 to be raised for the Special Olympics this weekend. Well, the NFL Divisional Playoffs at the Superdome today. The Saints trouncing the Cardinals 45-14. to Meanwhile, late in the game, the Colts leading the Ravens 20-3. to and tomorrow, of course, the Cowboys are going to visit the Vikings and the Jets going to head to San Diego and the Chargers. But for now, that's going to do it for us here on Saturday Sports Extra. CSI is up next.